Okay, we're at Tools Plus today. We're going to take a look at uh, how to wire in the limit switch for the lift. Uh, this is a 9,000 pound two post uh, with a limit switch up on the bar on the top. Uh, when your bar, when your car or anything hits that bar, it trips the switch and then you lose power and the lift will not go up. That prevents you from running the top of the car into the uh, top of the lift. And the way that switch is wired in is it's got two wires on it. Those two wires come out to here. They go into here and they come out here. And you'll split this blue wire that goes to your switch, green start switch. You'll cut that in two. You'll put uh, the white wire to one end of that, the black wire to the other end of that. Strip them back a little bit, pull wire nut on there, and you're done. Then when you push the little green button, it'll give you power and the lift will go up. The two wires, the three wires coming in here, there should be a white and a black and a green. The green is ground. The black is one leg of your 220. The white is the other leg of the 220. So if you have this wired correctly, when you put a meter across these two wires, it's going to read 220 volt. If it doesn't, it's not going to work and you need to get 220 volt to the unit. Now, on the push button switch, the wires go to the normally open side. One will be a common wire and one will say NO and one will say NC. You want it on the NO for the normally open, but when you push the button, it closes the circuit and powers the lift and up you go. Now, on the limit switch, you want to wire that just the opposite. It's want to be wired to the normally closed position. It'll say NC if you look close enough there. The top is generally your NO, which means normally open. The bottom is your NC, normally closed. That way it bridges that, those two wires, connects them together, and the lift will go up. When this switch is, when this trigger is moved up here, it controls this contact in here, connects these two wires, or it doesn't. The two wires coming out, are right there and that'll be the two wires that come down and end up in this box and connect right there and those two wires like I said here's the contactor and the two wires coming off of that contactor that go to that button you're going to cut one of these connect it to the wire connect the other end to the other end that you cut the contactor here the white and black is where your 220 volt comes into the unit to power it and it connects up to these two terminals an L3 and an L1 so when you have power push in the button it connects these two wires here pulls the contactor in which pushes this down connects these two wires on this side to the two wires on that side powers the lift and up you go the wires coming out of this side of the contactor will go to the directly to the motor the wires on this side of the contractor are coming from your power source 220 volt when you run an electric meter uh, across these two terminals uh, your multimeter is going to say 220 volt again wire this switch up to the normally closed side your push button will be to your normally open side 220 volts coming in and the unit will power up. If you have any problems, any questions, you can always give us a call. Check out our other uh, uh, how-to videos on lifts and lift repair. So give us a call if you need some help. Thanks.